These are the forwards. Smoked as well. Good gosh, Bo. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you saw in our previous video, we got the new truck inside the shop. So tonight we're gonna try to pull the trans and get started on uh, looking at all what's, what's damaged and looking a little bit deeper into that. Um, but before we start getting on the trans, first thing to go, those step rails right there. So let's get to it. Step rails off, already looking a little bit better. Guys, so we got the trans out, got it next to our donor 47. And here's a little bit better view at the damage. Not the hole in the bell housing, rip this whole corner off, rip the lines off. So we got some work to do here soon. We'll be uh, tearing them apart. <clears throat> here's what's left of the transfer case. So like I said, the other portion for the front drive shaft, gone. Still on the interstate somewhere. All right, guys. So uh, if y'all haven't already seen the truck video, um, I did kind of go over some of the differences between the 48RE uh, and the 47 RH slash RE. Um, so if y'all haven't seen that video already, already, go ahead and head over to my channel and check that one out. And while you're in there, hit the like button and the subscribe button um, so y'all can stay tuned to all of this. So on the 47, mine is a 2005 up truck. So it has a TTVA motor. Um, and to mount the TTVA motor, it has these two bosses right here. So anything 2005 and older did not have a TTVA motor. Um, just like this 47 RE, no bosses right there. But I have seen online where they make a bracket that ties into two, these two overdrive housing bolts that kind of swings forward and will pick up those two mounting holes. So. We're good at fabricating, so we're gonna make one of those um, to bolt our TTVA motor for that front case. The other difference is the diameter um, for this plug to stick through is a little bit larger than the 47RH. And then this threaded hole for our neutral safety um, sensor, which is right here, um, it is a one inch by 14 threads and the 47 rh um, is a much smaller thread it looked to be like a three quarter or something so then the last difference that i'm aware of is this boss right here um, that our shift cable came through that is not on the 47 rh so what we'll plan on doing here is probably machine down a little boss, drill and tap it, and then I will get a new shift cable bracket 
and bolt it up to this transmission and just find out where that lower boss needs to go and we will just TIG weld that onto the front case. And there is nothing behind that, so I'm not worried about, you know, if it, I don't know, if it warps the case or anything. I mean, we'll uh, be very careful with our heat input, but that's one reason why I did not want to weld anything right here because I didn't want to, um, you know, mess up the structural integrity or warp the case any by welding on bosses to the big, you know, meat of the case. So we will do a bracket here. We'll drill out this hole bigger on our 47RH. We'll drill and tap this hole bigger on our 47RH. And then we will make a boss to weld on our 47RH. And hopefully we will be in good shape. So let's get into the teardown. All right, so before I flip this transmission over and get the rest of the fluid out, um, I'm going to make a little bit of a kind of a dam around the table. Um, just so any, if any fluid starts to run anywhere, I can just direct it straight towards one spot and get in the bucket. Didn't work out as good as I wanted it to, but It'll get the point across and it'll keep the fluid from just, you know, flowing off from wherever it wants. All right, so this is my first 48RE that I've ever taken apart. Uh, I've watched a ton of videos on it. Um, some channels I'd recommend is uh, Horse Torx Diesel. Um, Josh has done several videos of uh, tearing down and rebuilding a 48 RE and then also fire pump diesel has a couple of really good videos as well um, so that's where I've learned most of my stuff from but since this is my first time um, I got some baggies and I'm gonna label all the bolts and miscellaneous small parts just so I know where they'll go in the future <laughs> guys so we got the 48 re apart and this case was so sandy and nasty i tried to clean it up before we started um while it was still in the truck and vacuumed it off a little bit but um as i took the parts out i just went ahead and took them in our other room to a cleaner table but um we have this thing apart so <laughs> our tape somewhat worked it's starting to leak past it now but um, it's did its job for the time being and then you can see here. I got all my bags um, Labeled um, I know what some of the stuff is, but I'm still separating it into a bag All right, so we got our 48 stripped down the other night uh, So now we're about to jump into tearing down our 47 so we can get to just the front case So we got all our parts for both our transmissions, our 48 and our 47 laid out here. So let's tear into them and see what they look like. 
All right, so we'll look at our 48 RE first. Um, so first of all, second gear band. <clears throat> I believe it seems to be a stock one um, with the eight rivets. Um, and it looks to be in pretty good condition, not much wear um, due to the amount of miles that are on it. I believe it's original transmission, 228,000 miles on it. The drum looks pretty good. You can feel a little bit on it, but we'll probably clean it up with some sandpaper on the lathe. Our direct drum. She got hot. There we go. Yeah, she definitely got hot right there. Look at all that discoloration. You can see some of the friction material cross hatching still on it. And you go to the next one, gone. Definitely got hot, and it looks to be a little warped. It's a little spongy there. So I'm glad I'm going through this transmission because this probably wouldn't have lasted us too long. All right, for our forward clutch, Oh man, check that out. Yeah, these, these got hot. Can barely feel the cross hatching on some of them and that is warped as a mug. And then last, our overdrive clutches. They all seem to look okay. I haven't measured the thickness. I don't know what stock thickness is, but they seem to be okay. But definitely it's a good thing that we're going through this transmission because these wouldn't have lasted long and the forwards wouldn't have lasted long. Um, and our low reverse band, probably will reuse it still can see the lettering on that a little bit of a little bit of wear there we'll see but i don't know from what i've heard you can most likely reuse these because they don't they don't uh, see a lot of abuse as for our overdrive directs which are right in here um you need a special tool to press this down to release the snap ring and we don't have one of those yet so we'll have to make one of those at work um so i'm not going to be able to get into this just yet so we will whenever oh well, we probably do the the rebuild video we'll get into that and uh, <clears throat> all right so coming over to our 47 we'll just look at it we're not really worried about what these internals look like but this one was rebuilt um at some point in its life, the torque converter had, I think, a 2015-year model torque converter on it, but it has the 10-rivet um, band on it. Don't really... Okay. Yep, Borg Warner 10-rivet second gear band.
the directs. The directs got hot for sure, but definitely got hot. So I don't know if, uh, what kind of clearances this thing had. These are the forwards smoked as well. Good gosh, Bo. I mean, we're getting down to Yep, they're straight metal on metal. That was a friction. Huh, not good. There's another friction all the way down the metal. Yeah, this thing was definitely at pull apart because of uh, transmission failure, I would expect. Our overdrive clutches as well, scorched. There's another. All right, so some of the differences between a 47 and a 48 RE. Um, I just noticed this, but it looks like the sun shell's a little bit thicker on them. 48 RE is gonna have a six pinion planetary and a 47 is gonna have a five pinion planetary. Uh, and on a 48, the rear planet is going to be a six pinion steel as well. And on the, on the 47, um, this is a V10 version. Um, so it has a aluminum four pinion planet and I've, a lot of people like to upgrade to the five pinion steel in the rear, but um, this one we're not you. We're gonna reuse our forty eight. All right, guys. So as y'all saw, the direct clutches were definitely smoked. Our forward clutches uh, had definitely seen a good bit of wear. Our second gear band looked good um, and our overdrive clutches look good. We're not sure of the condition of our overdrive directs, um, but we need to make a tool first before we can open that up or something. But we will be going through our valve body as well just to make sure um, everything is good. And I'm going to try to do some research on how to do some leak checks in common wear areas. Um, so we will... Um, definitely be diving into that as well all right and here we got our two cases all torn down so y'all stay tuned on um an upcoming video of us modifying these cases all right guys well i appreciate y'all tuning in to this little tear down video um, of us tearing down our two transmissions so we can get down to some bare cases so we can get us a new case for our 48 re um, and like I said, y'all stay tuned for the upcoming video of us modifying the 47 case to fit the 48, um, as well as once we get our valve body kit and our clutches and stuff, we'll do another video on the reassembly of us rebuilding this 48, um, so we can get us something new and fresh put back in the truck and not have to worry about anything. Um, so again, hey, y'all drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all, what kind of color y'all think we should paint this transmission, um, cause we're not going to leave it bare aluminum. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to paint it and make it look nice. So I appreciate all of y'all watching. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think. Um, and if you are not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button and we will catch you on the next one.